when you first open Dimension, unless you're in the far future right now. You'll find this video which explains what's his Dimension, in a nutshell. Let me play this video for you. Welcome to Adobe Dimension. In Dimension, you can combine 2D and 3D content to create anything you can imagine, like brand visualizations, product mockups, packaging designs, spatial designs, and digital art. Get started with a collection of models or import your own. Lay out your own scene with the freedom of 3D. Play with the appearance of objects by applying materials and graphics directly to the surface. Explore different views, lighting, and graphics to prototype designs quickly. Easily add your 3D models into an existing image with automatic lighting and perspective matching. Dimension smoothly complements your workflow from your other favorite creative tools like Photoshop, Illustrator, Stock, and Substance. Build a scene once, then use it in many ways. Prototype during the design process create high-quality images, publish on the web in 360 degrees for interactive review, embed it on your own portfolio or website, and show it off in the real world with augmented reality powered by Adobe Aero. Bring your best ideas to life with Adobe Dimension. We can't wait to see what you make. Okay, now click on the familiar three dots area that brings documents set up. I assume you have experience with Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. The default settings are good enough to go. With a canvas size of 1024 width 768 height. Pixel units no more than 72 pixels inch. And also I encourage you not to make the canvas size bigger than that. If you do so, you may have some issues during workflows. Such as freezing or program crash. But feel free to choose your favorite scene unit, I prefer centimeters. One last thing, if you feel that will be your standard setting every time you open Dimension, then check set as a default option and hit create, we are ready to go. The first thing I like to do whenever opening a new program is checking preferences to see what they have in there. So click edit preferences or simply hit control plus comma. Okay, we have the option to change the UI language, I prefer US English, so I will keep it. I love the dark mood, and I think you too should do it. Condensed UI spacing is completely fine for me. Ok, reduce noise. If you have a compatible graphics card you can use it to fasten the render time. As written there. It's still in beta, but let's give it a try, if you don't have a compatible graphics card go get one. It's ok don't worry you still can follow along with me, but I need you to know the program won't be most cool for you. As Dimension requires significant high system resources. The minimum requirements are as follows. You have to have Windows 10, 64-bit. 8GB of RAM or more. Intel Core i5, 2011 or newer. Or Intel Xeon, 2011 or newer. Or AMD A8 or A10, or AMD Risen. For the GPU, at least you need NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. 8GB video memory for GPU. Oppingle 3.2 capable system. If your machine is lower than these requirements don't bother, just try to force start and it may work well, but with the higher possibility to crash from time to time. So, save your work frequently. Then you have keyboard shortcuts for tools and menus, feel free to check and memorize it as we will use it later. Now press OK and have a good look at UI this program, it pretty much the same concept of any other Adobe software. On top, you have the main menus, file, edit, and other cool buddies there, we will take about them later. On your left, you have the tools bar and also the familiar home button that remarks Adobe products of 2020. On the top right side, there are four icons if you hover over them, a quick hint will pop out to tell you what they are for, and you can do so for any area in the screen. Ok, on the right side you may have the scene menu on top, action below it, then the most common menu in Adobe products which obviously is properties. Here you can do quick tweaks for objects you have, but as we have nothing the properties of the canvas are showing now. The last thing you'd love to see is the assets menu which contains all we need to start making some 3D things we are eager to share with the world. You can show hide this menu by clicking this box over here. I'm pretty sure you're bored after this amazing tutorial. 
But before you decide to close this video and never come back again. I need you to know. A kid should learn how to walk first before he tries to run. Because if he does run first he probably gonna fall on his head becoming some kind of a retarded or something. Which is you right now. Hi. Okay. See you next.